live from a corner of Austin, where we all sing, I look up, and the boys all harmonize. Do, 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 yeah, yeah, okay. You know it's going to be a great night. Now, identify your favorite vampire on Ted Lasso, and thank you for your service, Wuhan, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, man. Uh, 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 Do you remember Amazon Women on the Moon? Amazon Women on the Moon. Or Kentucky Pride movie? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Those are early early Zucker Brothers. Wait, for reals? I believe so, yes. I I, I didn't know that. I I, I just wanted to revisit that. Yeah, before Airplane, I, I, I believe Kentucky Pride movie was their first wide release. I, I, I believe that oh, sorry we have uh, uh, somebody in the audience re- re- read uh, can you confirm uh, okay He's saying yes so uh, 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 before uh, airplane yes uh, air- airline was the serious one that right? was the serious one and then they were doing a a almost scene for scene parody, parody. of uh airport airline. or air- yeah, right airport called uh, airplane airplane yes got it uh surely what <sighs> There, there was a brief minute where we saw kind of a resurgence of at least that vibe in the scary movie fran- franchise and so on, although I would say not as complex or, or as well thought out sketches, just kind of plain references. They got fucked to death. I mean, like, you know, between the Mel Brooks parodies and Airplane, you had like a genre and then you saw a little bit of a resurgence with like scary movie, but then you got into the like absolute dirt dumb not another teen movie like, like, not like, another right. ding dong flip flop what, meet what the is Spartans. the last Disaster great movie. sketch comedy movie jesus christ on a cracker like like who like, put it, jesus so, christ so, so, on uh, this uh, cracker what, what i'm thinking of it's is not like, even like, a, like, like not like even it, a fancy it wasn't cracker, even a movie a... but but i'm thinking of michael bolton's big uh valentine's big sexy valentine's day special but but even that wasn't a theatrical release like like what's the last great movie in that genre that actually hit theaters uh, uh brett was raising his hand i <clears throat> i was thinking keanu was pretty close to a sketch movie wait what keanu keep going uh, that's the one with key and peel where they have a cat Named oh, Keanu. No, but that's like a narrative thing. But there was, there was a lot. Of, there was a lot of sketch. No, but that it's not. With it. Yeah, I mean, because that is more like uh, airplane, in that it is an absurdist movie, but it has a plot. Right. Yeah. What you're talking more about is a barely tethered together like set of right. sketches. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Like, uh, yeah. Um, like, like I, b- I believe the conceit in Amazon Women uh, from the Moon was literally channel flipping, and and Kentucky yeah. Fried movie, as best I can remember, had no conceit. Yeah, there's, there was a one that the state guys did about the Ten Commandments, and I can't remember the name. Uh, but <laughs> is it, it the Ten Commandments? It might be the <laughs> Ten Commandments. <laughs> Uh, I don't I don't remember uh, 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 what it is, but uh, yeah, brain candy. Uh, people are suggesting. Ooh, that's a good one. That's that that is a pretty good one. Uh, Run, Ronnie, run. Although I don't think it was ever released in theaters. Uh, eventually, eventually, I think it was direct to video. Yeah, yeah. That's that was, how that I was saw essentially it. a Mister Show movie. Can somebody fucking not find the gun? The ten. It's the ten. The ten. When was that? So I just left off the commandments. 2015. So, uh, seven. Okay. David uh, and Marie. Uh, uh, by the way, this was an open ended question. I don't have like an ending for this bit. I just wanted to ask the question. Yeah. When was the last time somebody actually. This is a bit Brian calls easier than Google. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> also, everybody in the room, I think, would have interesting things to contribute to this, but uh, uh, that's fine. That's why Bryce, we're doing we this. Have a first, forum. Topic. Oh, that's right. uh, first topic. First topic. Oh, <laughs> it's, uh, Brett, Bryce, did I hit the song for you again? Yeah, could you do that this time? Uh, and and my button is working. Yep, totally. Yep. 
Nailed AirPods it. professional. Thank you, Brad. I am a relatable man. I have a relatable life. Uh, what people mostly know me for is how much I connect with uh, the average Joe. You work a day, Doug. You just getting off from the factory, dirt under his fingernails, saying, "Ah, Jesus, factory, my fingernails. I know what it's like to be me, and I do too, Doug." I've been through the exact same situations that you've been. That's something that everyone knows about me. So you, you buy similar things to the relatable man? Oh, yeah. You know, we well, we don't drink Bud Light anymore. <laughs> That's what I'll tell you. Why me and Doug, our favorite beer, no longer. These are the things that I'm connected with. The, the beating heart of America. Right? The common man, Brian. Yep. Mm -hmm. I bought, like everybody else in America, AirPods because I need them to listen to okay. things. Well, I, I, real quick, uh, AirPods in and of themselves is sort of a, a high-end segment of the market because it would imply that you have an iOS device. Oh, no, and... pretty regular. Right. They're pretty normal. Regular devices that every American buys. Yep. Every American buys AirPods because we all understood that it was inhumane to use tethered things in our ears. Right. Because sometimes when you're leaving the airport and you're getting into your car and you're moving your luggage, the top of your luggage catches the wired <laughs> Air, uh, ear pods super and then they relatable. rip out of your ears and you're like Ugh. fuck uh, like we that. all know that very normal relatable thing hate, well, I, hate, I, I, it. I, hate it Bryce it, it sounds like this is resonating with you is that correct oh yeah I hate it because it happens it snags and then your ear almost hurts <laughs> okay. yeah Yes, yes, exactly. You. Yeah. See, Brian, we're not here with the hoi polloi like you. You're up there on Elysium <laughs> toasting with your other one percenters. Get him, David. Me, get him, get him, get him, David. Me, me, me and the rest of the regs, uh, as we call ourselves, <laughs> the, the, reg, the regular Joes, Reggie Millers. Uh, that's who we are. We're all down here together, and we're sharing common, very relatable experiences. Okay. Right. Well, I, 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 as we know. I had a thing. You ever have this happen to you? You uh, have AirPods, and they keep breaking because they keep real, making real quick, just, rattling just, noise. Just visually. We all know that rattly noise that happens eventually in your ear. It's a known defect with Pre the AirPods. And so you bring them into the Apple Pre store and you say, give me new AirPods. And they say, oh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. <laughs> and then they bring you the new AirPods. You this, know that This experience? is the relatable thing. Yes. This well, okay. Is, oh, I'm sorry, Brian. Uh, this is what the rest of the world is dealing with. <laughs> okay, While right. you have your family Fancy pants, cutting lemon cakes and putting them in between two pieces of cucumber for some reason. <laughs> uh, and you're you... eating them and you're feeding your you and the rest of the Waltons. <laughs> so <laughs> like yeah, you, just so... you 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 are doing that. This is what the rest of us are going through. Just well, visually, so we can ground ourselves. Could you describe what the AirPods look like? I mean, we all know. Come on, this this guy, right? Oh, Mr. One Percent over here doesn't know what an AirPod. Let me bring you down to street level. <laughs> the AirPod comes in a white case, and you just take them out. Now I had to put a sticker on mine because sometimes uh, you you and your wife get confused about whose AirPods are whose. So you have two. Well, of course. I mean, again, we're we're living paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> I guess technically. <laughs> <laughs> In that we get paychecks. Paychecks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
you know. <laughs> but we have you, you have them and you put them in and they connect to your phone and they go boom and then you can and then you can hold them and they get quieter yeah. so you can proof your podcast. Yeah, but 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 re- real quick, like uh, uh, they all look the same? Question mark. They do. That's why I had to put a little sticker on it so I knew which one was mine and, and which one was my wife. Yeah, but the ones on the inside, what do they look like? Well, you know, they, they, they're, they're little, like, ear, ear pods that you would uh, wear in olden times. <laughs> mm-hmm. But they don't have a wire. Mm. And uh, uh, these oh, ones... like olden times. Well, yeah. Those, I mean, like, that was basically, like, Morse Torture. code. Yeah. Yeah. It's like... Like it's like, it, it's like it's like it's like it's like I give you were like you had a car. We now now all drive cars with motors, right? <laughs> before we had to use our feet like the Flintstones. Yes, okay. Right. In but, our but, cars, but, but on the ear pods. The Brontosaurus Sorry. burger would tip over the car. I'm, 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 That's how unstable and unsafe cars were before just, Ralph just, Nader just wrote his to book. Establish how relatable this this all is. Uh, uh, the earbuds themselves. AirPods. Sorry. Can you believe? How out of touch this fucker is! <laughs> Jeez, man, talk to somebody who works for a living. Bryce, is there anything you would like to ask Justin about his AirPods? Uh, what's happening, my man? Yeah, hey, how how are your AirPods doing? Uh, so they're not great, Bryce. Oh no, what, what are they still? Bro- it sounded like they were broken in your. Well, see, the they were, but uh, this is a well-known thing: is that. Once you buy your AirPods, because they cost a couple hundred dollars, you are able to just take them into the Apple store if they have a sound to them, if they're crackling, and they'll just replace them. Oh, wow. And I have found out that you can do this four times. (laughs) (laughs) Now, which number time is this? I know this because the fifth time I brought them in, they told me no. So what did you do? I'm noticing that you are carrying AirPods with you at the moment. Well, I I have to. He's suffering. I have the to have them because I listen to a lot of, of things. These subpar AirPods. I have He's a, a goddamn hero. Exact. You want? Finally. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the moment at the end of the breakdancing movie where the one cool white guy daps up the lead breakdancer. We're showing that there can be connection between classes. Lower class, me, <laughs> and upper class, Brian. Just uh, real quick, so we're establishing what yeah. lower class looks like. Mm-hmm. And again, visual Common, motif. Common, everybody understands. The entire chat is with me. When I say we all know the limitations of the AirPods, everybody says yes in unison. Bryce, cut to the chat. Ju- ju- Justin, real quick, uh, c- uh, could, I, could I describe visually? Everybody is responding right just, now. Just They're all to... responding. You can barely keep it going <laughs> on the I, chat. I, 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 I you can wanna... barely stop seeing <laughs> could, yes. Could I maybe just see your AirPods and describe them to everybody just to explain how relatable you are? Uh, sure, yeah, yeah, there okay. you go. Okay. Right. That's a little touch okay. of common man for you. Yeah, all right. Now, uh, now they're white, of course. Yes, they AirPods. are. Yeah, they're AirPods. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they are. Okay. What uh, else? What other uh, factors are? Well, I, to be honest, I was led to believe there would be something more interesting on them. They appear to just be three hundred dollar AirPods. <laughs> well, I, actually, I'm noticing a uh, Justin now. Well, I can get to the end of my story if you'd like. <laughs> oh. Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to get on your jeweler's loop and look at my <laughs> AirPods more? I may have made an assumption that was incorrect, sir. <laughs> All right, so you go to the store. They tell you, "Get the fuck so out anyway, of here." No I more replaced them five times. It means I need new AirPods. Yeah. We've all been there. <laughs> I need new AirPods. So one day, I'm uh, at a microbrewery. <laughs> Asshole, you fucking <laughs> hit me, prick. as we all are, <laughs> as we find ourselves <laughs> at times. I'm in the St. Elmo district at one of their many microbreweries, yes. And I decide, you want to know what old dirt under the fingernails, <laughs> jerks? You deserve a little splurge, you deserve new AirPods. So I go on the Apple app. On my iPhone Max 
50 or whatever. <laughs> and and just, just, just replace your air. And I just say, I need new AirPods. And then uh, it has an option when you're buying AirPods yeah. that you can get uh, your Animoji engraved on it. Why would you do that? Because Nobody does that. Why, my why, why wife would... and I have a hard time determining whose AirPods are whose. And so I had had a sticker on it. And so now I figured it would be better if I had an engraved an emoji of me doing this. <laughs> oh, he's so doing a winky tongue out Your problem, <laughs> as defined, is that it took you enough effort to put a sticker on your AirPods yes. that the solution yes. was to engrave your own face. An animoji of my face winking and sticking my tongue out. This is a very relatable problem. We all have been there. We've all been there. And you want to know what, Brian? What? It's hard being the common man. Oh, my God. <laughs> because the system is out to fuck you. I really right. look forward to finding the out how you are able to land this is plane. out to get you. Well, really? when now, you are the common man, there is not a level playing field because I had to wait one and a half weeks for UPS to deliver my engraved new AirPod. One and a half weeks, Brian. I ordered that. I was at that microbrewery two weeks ago, and I just got it today. And I was so excited. Oh, I was just like, oh, let me get all my little AirPods. Oh. Wait a minute. So, so, so it arrived today. It arrived today. Oh, thank goodness. It arrived I, today. I, I think this is a very relatable moment of relief that we're all experiencing. I opened the case. I got them out. I put them in my ears, and I was like, well, this feels weird. These don't feel like my other AirPods. What? These feel, like, different. It, did they make a new thing? Oh, you want to know what? I know. My AirPods please, please. have little gel tips that oh. go into my delicate little ears. <laughs> Just a mess. And, and make sure that the AirPods stay please in don't. my ear. Please don't say everything I think you're about to say. So I go to my AirPods and I take off my little gel tips and I go to put it on my new AirPods. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, wait, they don't click. Why do you not click? Click, no, it wouldn't click. Oh wait no. Wait a minute, oh, oh, oh Jesus, no. and then it all came crashing down. Oh. I didn't buy AirPod Pros. No. <laughs> Regular AirPods. No! no! This is a relatable story in which you are clearly the victim. Will the man <laughs> find no further way to fuck the commoner? <laughs> Bernie, where are you? We you need, need to you. stick up. We are the 99%. And so now I got to return. <laughs> oh, God, God. oh, my God. You're actually going all the way. You're trying to. Okay. All right. But you can't. Now, now hey, Justin. Now, yeah. hold on. Because I just I'm remembering back to an earlier part of the story that yeah. you told us. Yeah. And you mentioned that when you ordered these incorrect AirPods, and I do understand they are which, absolutely which, which incorrect. you ordered. That uh, you've got with that. your own hands at a microbrewery. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I do think that there is an argument to say false, uh, uh, false advertising. But, go on. Malicious false advertising. Wait, what was false? How false? <laughs> okay, just saying the word false does. False. Okay, you could say it a lot. Malicious that, false. Okay, well, that does advertising. In, uh, okay, that is a false. good word. Okay, go on. Ad. Ver Tizing. Right. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. Just saying malicious. Now that we're all clear. So okay. when I go to my uh, uh, Apple app. Because, I mean, I, if you, you got them. I bought it on the app. You got them engraved, though, right? Um, uh, 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 look, are you the cops? 
So I guess why did you get it? Why did you get Sorry. your mistake? Because I didn't want to put a sticker on it. <laughs> so you and I thought if I'm winking and sticking my tongue out, I'd look cool. <laughs> you literally <laughs> paid for the engraving of your own mistake that you made at a microbrewery. Right, look, look, buying for the sixth time. AirPods. No, 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 no. I got him replaced for free uh, uh, the Four first times. few times. So you didn't even pay. With your privilege. Oh, I mean, I'm certain. Yes, no, yeah, yeah that part. So here, uh, uh, enough enough of you talking. Here's what <laughs> I want you to look at for the record. Okay, all right. All right, so if I'm you look at order, order details. See here. Order details. Uh, first of all, those are clearly not AirPod Pros. Those are regular. Personalized AirPods, third generation with MagSafe charging case, malicious advertising, don't, false, don't false know why. malicious I, advertising. Uh, uh, okay. They should have said on them, not yours. Your little ears will hurt. <laughs> They should have called them ear torture because that's what they really are. All right. So what what does that button say that I'm pointing at right now? Uh, check return eligibility. Okay. We're going to press that right now. Okay. Get you a can. refund? Yeah. Or I can go to an Apple Get store. Get a replacement? Yeah. Or you could call them? Or I can find, find an, an Apple, Apple store. store. Yeah. 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 Okay. So look at that. Oh, Bryce. You fucking doubter. You doubting <laughs> wow. Thomas. Wow. You doubting, uh, the, you the, doubting the doubter. The turning of Bryce as the villain in this episode <laughs> was unexpected. Well, I, I just mean, thought you, I knew the like, like, oh, you fucking Oh, you doubter. engraved it. You engraved it. You don't get it. It's stuff engraved. Well, maybe I want to. What if I get an engraving that says, fuck you, Bryce? <laughs> How would that be? You wouldn't be able to refund it. Although maybe I would, according to the check <laughs> eligibility. Uh, uh, what if I buy one right now? It says, fuck you, Bryce. <laughs> all right, all right, first and then all, we return it. Well, maybe, that how, about we, how about we auction it? No. Uh, for a good cause. <laughs> how good a cause? I don't know. You one percenters love charity. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, at this point, yes. you're angry. Uh-huh. That your replacement for your... We're all... We are angry. <laughs> <laughs> we are angry, and we're not going to put up with it anymore with the man putting his boot on our neck and not allowing us to have decent wages, <laughs> decent food, AirPod Pros with solidarity forever. <laughs> AirPod Pros solidarity. with You didn't bring them, did you? They're in the car. <laughs> you, 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 want get them? you want me to get them? No. Well, you take what? a moment, and I'm going to talk to the audience. All right. Okay, All right. listen. Here we go. Right. Now, Here Brian, we go. Brian, we can get FKU Bryce engraved on an AirPods Pro. That's and they, pretty good. And That's pretty good. That. Unfortunately... I'd hate to admit it, but we're bankrupt. We've lost all of our money oh, because no. somebody's been spending it. And the only way to save it is for people to go to patreon.com slash great night. That's yeah. where they'll get their own RSS feed, exclusive access to the Bones podcast, our exactly. bonus episodes, and to be quite honest, uh, our best work. Is that fair to say? Uh, no, I, it's great. It's a great, it's a great show, but I like it's, it's, you know what? No, you're right. It's the best thing we've ever right. You sound like a kid at the Tonys. <laughs> you sound less confident than I was hoping you would be. I look up. Uh, yeah, no, please. Uh, uh, the bo the bones are great. If you like, if you liked our green room today, <laughs> where we were really, really, really loose, uh, that's what the bones is like. It's a loose us hanging out every week. Uh, Patreon.com slash great night is where you can support us, keep us loud, live, and independent, and keep us in our meager, meager wages that allow us to do things like, uh, what do you got, Justin? The scourge of the upper class. That's what I do. <laughs> That's what I have. This is why this is how they get you. This is how they get you, folks. Easy credit ripoffs. <laughs> I think it's out. Good, time. Good times. All right, there we go. I'm going to hand this to Brian. You don't even want to touch it. <laughs> You're disgusted by its very existence. <laughs> there we oh, go. There goes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now I understand why you didn't want to touch it. Um, if anybody wants to zoom in on this right here, 
Um, <laughs> wow, well, it is an emoji. Is a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's literally him. It's got the beard and everything. <laughs> this relatable <laughs> working class working problem. class problem that we've all been through. You're trying to get your fifth or sixth <laughs> edition of AirPod Plus, <laughs> and you're trying to put your face etched upon it, <laughs> but you accidentally, while you're sitting at a microbrewery, etch your face upon the wrong type. <laughs> Open. They don't have gel tips. <laughs> they don't have gel tips. I think we all know who the victim is, and it's the fine patrons who went to patreon.com <laughs> slash great night. How you feeling? Yeah, Put upon. <laughs> run amok. <laughs> So what are you going to do? Now you're living the multi-airpod life. What are you going to do about it? Are Take you Take these hoes back to fucking uh, uh, the Apple store, and I'm going to tell them I want AirPod Pros. My ears. This is my job. Yeah. I listen to things for a living. Yep. It's, it's true. It, yep. I have to listen to you. Uh, I have to, you know how much Brian I have to listen to? <laughs> Because I'm down in the lab, baby. <laughs> I'm down there. I'm I'm just oh we oh <laughs> yo. Oh. Brian gets to sit there and he goes, ah, what do you think about cons? <laughs> Is that you kind of like scams? But if a con was a scam and then it went into a house, I mean <laughs> it made a scam con. <laughs> and then he goes, fix it, dipshit. And it's fist in my eye. And I got to go back down to the boiler room right. with a swinging fucking light bulb. Right. And I got to ding, 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 ah. ding, ding, ding. Ah. And in my ears, I need Jelton. All right. Real quick. Name one time that we've been working on World's Greatest Con. And I was like, oh, man, it seems like it would be better if we just had some quotes from James Randi. Oh, and fuck you, you said, fuck you. Fuck oh, you. fuck, too bad there are none. Whatever. Oh, my God. Uh, no, wow. That, you know, that, no, that's the thing we should. Uh, 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 it's whatever. actually pretty no, great. There, yeah, there's there's a new episode of World's Greatest Con. Uh, uh, turns out I did an interview with James Randi back in 2008, and I totally forgot about it. And it was... <laughs> Covering all of Project Alpha, and yes, it's available now. You should listen to it, and uh, uh, everybody should make fun of my voice. Uh, just uh, 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 Bryce, if you if you go to World's Greatest Con and you skip halfway through, you'll be able to hear Actually, what it, what being in is, your mid twenties and going drinking every night in Florida does to a man. Uh, uh, oh my goodness. Uh, I, 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 this is something I could say in this very safe place. If I could, I would reach my hands through the internet back in time and just pinch the cheeks of 20 and something just a rubber young. It's Which is funny because ever. three weeks after that episode was recorded, you were in the same room with 20 something Justin Robert Young. And I don't remember my cheeks getting pinched. Well, I, 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 I wish I could pinch my own cheeks this <laughs> way. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, on, on the Patreon for World's Greatest Con, there's a, another episode where Brian actually did show up. It was one of the first times, probably the second time that I think Brian and I hung out Ever. in person. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, here, uh, uh, Bryce, just just because I, uh, I'm already going to eat, I've already eaten so much shit, why not eat just another helping more? Uh, 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 yeah, I just need uh, 24 more seconds. 24 more seconds, okay. Patreon.com slash greatest con for that one. For that uh, one. And then for there, us, there's like a full hour long com, yeah, yeah, it's, discussion it's about it. Me and you talking about it. And then the full episode of you, me, and James Randi back in 2008, literally the day before the Obama election. Find out James Randi's opinion on the McCain Obama <laughs> election. Uh, uh, if you if you go ahead and uh, get on that Patreon, and then of Tale course of the boots on the on the ground experience of the boys. Oh. All right, skip forward just a little bit more. Hey, uh, we got oh, this is Alpha. Gonna be worth most it. Audio listeners. Project Alpha didn't focus. Yeah, no, don't worry. You'll know. You'll know when it sounds like I'm at the bottom of a fucking uh, a beer soaked ashtray. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to need another 62 seconds. On That's this only one. because of your bad AirPods at the time. Uh, tell you what, I'm going <laughs> to do a few more push-ups, just just real quick. Wait, wait no, no, because he's going to need oh, to play more he things. Would have to play. Yes. Why, why don't you acapella give me some nine-inch nails while okay, you do some yeah. push-ups? Yeah. There we go. All right. Mm -hmm. 
in 1992, Nine Inch Nails released their the famous album, Grow 'em Strong Cuticle Style. It was then that uh, lead singer Nine Smith <laughs> said, This is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Brian, how many push ups have you done? 100. <laughs> it was great. Nice. Nice. Bryce? Just uh, 13 more seconds. Okay, okay, I'll do more push ups. Don't worry about it. Okay. Keep going. Mm-hmm. There you go. Fine. It was on their second album, uh, uh, Who Needs Ten? When Nine Inch Nails said, uh, uh, these, this is getting old. Why do a Wikipedia when you can play the songs? Yep. This is the biggest thing since the Tunguska uh, blast of 1910. No, no that's not keep, it. Keep going. What? Yeah, no, like, like even way, when we were talking. Way into to- it. Wait, I'm I'm almost I'm past halfway. Uh, here we go. Towards the end. Episode five. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, an update on Project Alpha in your emails. Is that it? No, I might say in James Randy's own words. Oh, uh, I'm on the public. If this is on Patreon, I might not have access. Oh, did it not go out to the public? Oh, here it is. This is. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. It's I just it uh did not set the right auto play thing. There we go. From May 16. Uh, in James Randy's own words. Uh, let's see if I can listen to it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to need another 32 seconds. Oh, good. <laughs> it's good because I really You want to do some more push-ups? I was just thinking I should do more push-ups. Okay. Brian's going to do some more push-ups. Faith in God, am I trusting you? Now there's nothing more fucked up I could do. Damn. That was the name of their third album. When they did a reggae thing. No one really thought it was very good. Okay, I did. I did a lot of push-ups. Yeah, yeah, it was. That was probably four or five. <laughs> okay, there we go. Here we are. Okay, Patreon.com. Uh, oh, hold on, a little bit more. Fingers crossed. Fingers yeah. crossed. There we go. You think we got it this time? Because somehow McDonald man McDonald. Now, uh, okay, so this is James Randi. Uh, after all, he was ninety something at that time, and did, that was many years ago. Did he huh. skip the Long part where you talked? There you go. Uh, he um, was determined that uh, he wasn't going to die until he had found out whether or not there was life after death. Now, how bending spoons could possibly contribute to his knowledge of that subject, I have no idea. <laughs> but he did settle uh, for <laughs> Phillips suggesting that studying spoon bending children <laughs> would be a good way to get your feet wet, so to speak. And um, I want to get that around. engraved so they on my their press release that they were looking for children who had. Uh, psychic uh, occasions in their lives, and uh, all right, I I, 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 I hate, I hate to do this, Bryce, but a little bit earlier, <laughs> you motherfucker, a little bit. I was gonna do. You know, I, I was thinking I should yeah, do like uh, yeah. You want to know what? This up. isn't. Some this isn't light okay. On Project Alpha. Oh yeah, that came just before Project <laughs> Beta. <I remember>. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Well, that was a, <laughs> Project VHS. <laughs> that, yeah. I, I mean, made a lot of news. Um, all right, yeah. We're really deep in it now. Not worth it. <laughs> Turns out the joke all along is that it wasn't worth it. Joke's on you. <laughs> Bryce, next topic. Our next topic. Poop it up. <laughs> uh, so, so here's the thing that I think many people who have children will uh, relate to. Uh, Unlike your story about the AirPods, yeah. Uh, the uh, uh, the uh, 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 my 15 year old, there was one of those moments where it's like no need for a DNA test on that one. Uh, uh, the situation that was happening was Joy, our Weimar honor, had the shits right, and uh, she was downstairs. Bonnie was not there. She was out, and I said to Josie, like, "Hey, I have to go. Will you please?" And I'm talking upstairs to Josie. Uh, will you please let Joy out because she has diarrhea and is going to shit all over the place? And and she goes like, wait, did did she poop all over the place? And I was like, no. And I was like, and she was like, oh, okay, well then everything's fine. I was like, no, 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 I need you to let her out so that she doesn't poop all over the floor. And, and she's like, uh, I mean, if she hasn't done it, I'm sure it's fine. And I say, okay, but what are you going to do when I'm gone and the dog poops all over the place like like you're now on the hook for your dog joy pooping all over the place and she says well i'll I'll just get callie our 10 year old to 
clean it all up. And I was like, well, that sounds like it'll be harder than actually cleaning it up yourself. How do you intend to do that? And she, without breaking anything, just says, yeah, no, I'll just make a TikTok video and make it a trending thing. Hashtag poop it up. <laughs> and we'll have a bunch of videos of kids pooping up uh, or <laughs> cleaning up poop from dogs. And then we'll do a dance. And then she raises her fists above her head and goes, poop it up, uh, poop it up, poop it up, poop it up. Hashtag poop it up, poop it up, poop it up, poop it up, poop it up. And uh, at this point, I'm like, wait a minute. Are you literally proposing that rather than let the dog out right now, it's easier for you to wait for the dog to shit on the floor and then to convince your sister to clean it up, you're just gonna create a global viral sensation called hashtag poop it up. Her response, poop it up, 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 poop it up. Anyway, that's the whole story. Price next topic! Dog Gollum question. Justin, this was your question. You had a hypothetical for us in the production meeting about oh, a dog. Yeah. About uh, dogs. <laughs> <laughs> turns, out, uh, turns out this one sucks. Move on. Bryce, next topic. Our next topic. National Prayer Day. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Hello, everybody. Did you know it's National Prayer Day? Uh, Nope. <laughs> oh, I thought it was National Prayer Week. Yeah, it turns out it was just a day. I, I oh, wrong. just a day. Just one day. Well, I'll tell you what. If you uh, 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 hashtag prayer it up, uh, <laughs> maybe it'll be a week next year. <laughs> That's right. Well, uh, uh, I guess that must mean that uh, no one here follows Marky Mark on. Uh, oh, on, Mark Wahlberg on the internet. Yeah, Mark one Mark what? Wahlberg. No. What? No. What? What? No. <laughs> and what? Uh, he won. He wanted to let us know that uh, he was also celebrating National Prayer Day. Oh. Is this a real video of Mark Wahlberg kissing? What is happening? So he's kneeling. Happy National Prayer Day. Stay prayed up. God bless you. <laughs> Did he just use prayed up in the way you would say stay hydrated? Yeah. Yeah. Stay prayed up. So he's kneeling. He's prayer. prayer he stay prayed up. God bless you. Yeah. He say prayed up. Justin, I don't know how prayed up I am. I, I almost feel uncomfortable making fun of this. <laughs> okay. How, pray, how prayed up do you think you are on a scale of one to a hundred? I mean, I ain't never kissed a crystal cross. Do we need to get a crystal nor, cross? Nor have I started a Transformer movie. Do you want to kneel and then kiss an AirPods case with my face engraved on it? I mean, it? you're the expert. In prayer? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. No. You're, then, yeah. Go, oh, ahead, go ahead and get on your knees. All right. Get on your knees. Or, do, or don't, uh, I guess. He, Brian's just, just waiting with his arms out, hand, mouth open. Just, just, Justin appears to be serious about this. <laughs> yeah. What do you – this is not a – is this a comedy podcast uh, uh, to you? Uh, number one, somebody ignored the off-ramp fucking twice. So. <laughs> Bryce, next man. <laughs> we already did the Patreon plug. Cheat GPT. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you know what? How about this? Did you hear about this? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Uh, a user on Reddit uh, posted uh, this. Texas A&M commerce professor fails entire class of seniors, blocking them from graduating, claiming they all use chat GPT. Uh, that's a real, that's a real, uh, uh, look at me situation from that professor, right? Well, I, I, I think your job, depends. your job ain't to grade papers, dickhead. So, Just give them the fucking, like, come on. Like, they, they paid a quarter million dollars for horse shit. Like you're going to fucking kick them in the nuts on the way out the door. What are you doing? What just are you, what let them get. Just let them get the thing. You're, you're These just, people you're are just clowns. Over there with a bag of Brian Nip, flopping it all I'm around. I'm just saying they're clowns. These these professors. Enough. Like congratulations, you have a job uh, of fleecing people and, and creating a debt crisis that will eventually capsize the country. You can't be happy enough doing that and drinking fucking like sherry and and uh, uh, clinking glasses and donating to Gore. Like like that's that's 
That's not enough for you? You have to fuck these kids? Bryce, was he correct in that every single student had been cheating? No, he wasn't. And do you want to know why he believed every student had been cheating? Why? Because their essays were so good? Because he asked ChatGPT if it wrote it. And ChatGPT oh. said, yes, of course I wrote it. This motherfucker doesn't know how ChatGPT works. Yeah, he's a teacher. He, yeah. uh, 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 this man went to a noted improv expert and <laughs> says, I have yellow eyes. And he said, and they're lovely. <laughs> and then he indicted everyone for not telling him he had yellow eyes. Yep. Yeah. Sounds like some real A&M shit. Hook him hard. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, so in an update. <laughs> Uh, in an update, uh, uh, why is that the thing you're most embarrassed of? Because you're actually a UT alum. I mean, be it's it's because I have the impulse to join in on it. But then that would be the, uh, me catering to the most shallow parts of my tribalistic upbringing. It would also be a clever and explosive end of the segment. Yeah, it would have been a good comedy bit for the podcast <laughs> that we're doing. It, it sounded like Bryce had more to add to the story than I was Bryce, hoping to Bryce, you have more out. to add to the story? Uh, apparently, uh, one student has been exonerated so far through the use of timestamps in Google Docs, um, but many other students are uh, uh, waiting to find out. Apparently, <laughs> administration staff was told that two students came forward and did admit to using ChatGPT <laughs> in the semester, which is making this a much bigger clusterfuck. You want to know what? Good for them. Good for them. I hope I hope they get two <laughs> degrees. I hope they get double the degrees for cheating. The good news is you get two degrees. The bad news is they're from Texas A&M. Hook it up. Oh! Hook it up. 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 Uh, well, we, uh, oh, uh, do, we have another, do we have another topic? We did have one topic if you think there's anything in there. Rabbit, rabbit swift keys. <laughs> what? God. Fred. Damn it. Broke Fred. up the perfect game. God. Broke up the perfect game. <laughs> Things were going so smooth. God. Things were going so smooth tonight. Raven. Until you fucked it up. <laughs> Bryce, Bryce, are you familiar with the song Ready For It by Taylor Swift? Uh, oh, yeah, yes. I think that was a theme song for one of the Terrace House shows one, one year. The, like, like, in the middle of the night, ready for it? my dream. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and, then, and, then, and then it's like, like uh, uh, are you ready for it? So there's like a beat drop yeah. right before that. So I, me and my wife go to the gym at, for a 6.15 class. It's usually sedate because it's 6.15 in the fucking morning. Uh, that song is playing. It's like one of the first few songs. We're on the treadmill, and uh, all of a sudden, it's do 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 beat drop of that song. A room shaking. Wow! Are you ready for it? I'm just saying the Swifties are rabid. Oh, got it. You, uh, not from the speakers, but from. The a woman. fellow workers, a woman. outers, a one woman. person. Yeah. Oh. We should have fucking ended it. No. We should have ended it. We should have. What? What Fuck. did either of you Fuck. say to her, Justin? We just kind of laughed. Like there's no other line. We should. What do you just, think? What do you should have fucking so, ended it? I, I <laughs> one. A Taylor Swift Fuck. comes on. End of Act One. A woman loses her mind. Act oh, Two begins with you two just saying, oh, fucking this ended lady, it. am I right? You should have ended it. Why didn't I just want, I had the chance to end it and I just didn't end it. <laughs> We should have ended it on how, Hook how It Up. It was, it, a runner. it was a runner on the Poop It Up joke. <laughs> it would have made both of them funnier. And instead, I just went with this thing. I knew it wouldn't fit. If we could have put it in next. I could have put it in next up, week. Uh, I could have hey, put Bryce, it in next Bryce. week. Uh, yeah. uh, why let's didn't pretend I, I just cheered week. for whatever that song why is. Didn't, yeah. why, didn't ah! why didn't I? Are you ready for it? Yeah. This is even worse. <laughs> oh, fuck this off. This is even worse. Get this off the ground. Getting, this is getting terrible. Justin, I've got a question I for you. I won't get off the ground. Get, get off the ground. Number Are you one, ready for it? Number one, you fucking betrayer. I should have known. 
I should have fucking known you doubting Thomas that it was always you that was gonna fucking put me in the ground. I just don't know that much. I'm Taylor in the Swift. ground now, and I won't get off the ground until you start the game. Okay, well I'll start. I'll start our game. You know what? In solidarity, I'm going to lay no, down. The no, ground. no, come on this down. This is Brian. a performative bit where I am supporting come on down. the germs. No. Awesome alliance. Come on. I'm laying down on the ground. Lay down uh, there. Down Pretty here. much laying down right now. Go ahead, Bryce. We all we all lay down here. Oh no, we're yeah, we're all laying down. We're all down yeah. here. Bryce. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's solidarity, huh? Oh yeah. <sighs> What's happening? I mean, you're not laying down. You're sitting down. I'm pretty much. Why laying wouldn't down. you? Why wait? I thought it was solidarity forever. Yeah, well, it, it is. Uh, Look how solid no, we are. This is how the one percent treats us. Uh, <laughs> performative allyship. Oh yeah, performative okay. allyship. All right. All right. Freaking no, Ted Lasso. Get down here. Here. <laughs> Ted, Ted Lasso. Yeah, regular right. Ted Lasso right. over here. You don't even know what that means. You haven't seen this season. If, it's it, fine. if this were Ted Lasso, they wouldn't show me laying down. <laughs> <laughs> they just show everybody okay. reacting. All right, All right Bryce. I'm See, gonna, now I want to stand I'm, up. I'm almost. <laughs> I'm almost Do it, all the you way, fucker. <laughs> I am. Do it. No, I am. I'm in solidarity. Pull your nuts out. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Get right. his band from Twitch. <laughs> get his band. Bryce. This is going to be oh, the best version of the show ever. The one right. where we get banned because now, Bryce flopped his nuts. I'm now what? fully laying down yes. in solidarity. Although you're doing it on your side like you're trying to show your tits off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> really lay into it. Yeah. Lay all into right. it. No, I'm all yeah. the way down. All right. I'm all no. the way down. Go, Bri go, Bryce, go, Bryce go. Is, is, is there a game? Yeah. Uh, is there, there is a game. A game. <laughs> there Bryce is a game, everybody. Is standing up in anti solidarity That's right. to your bit, Just I'm, I'm a scab for this bit. <laughs> and you I'm fucker. Fully I erect knew scab. It. I knew it. Uh, fully well. erect scab. <laughs> yeah. I'll just, I'll just uh, crouch down a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. I know because Bryce's big dick was, all right, Bryce, was fucking uh, like, distracting like, uh, we're, everybody. We're all in solidarity for JRY. Exactly. Right, right. I know. So, so, striking. I got a game for you today. Good. Okay. I'll stay there. We, uh, 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 I went to. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Justin, uh, please lay down in solidarity with my laying down for you in solidarity. No, but I said that I would get up as soon as he played the game. But I'm still laying down, and I would appreciate your support. How does this benefit my interests? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good... Uh, Bryce, take it from here. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, so I, I, I've got a new game for you today. Uh, I went to our friends over at Bing, you know Bing. <laughs> mm. yep. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, they uh, they have their own. Brian standing up. They have their own chat. I'm not proud of them. <laughs> Give me a hug. Give him a hug. We went through a lot. Oh, there we go. Gay. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> did somebody shout gay? <laughs> uh, who did that? Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> So I got a game for you today. Uh, uh, I went to the Microsoft chat bot powered by ChatGPT, and I said, hey, fool. <laughs> That's what I said to it. All right. Do you know Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young? And it said it does, which was great. They uh, do, they're, they're like, so like that, that was not like just a do you know people that might be this name? Like they knew our careers and our acolytes and shit like that. They did. They knew some of the shows you'd done. Said acolytes and not accolades. <laughs> I was, I was going to point it out. Self-reported. <laughs> Self-reported. <laughs> Warhammer shit going on. So I asked it, hey, okay, you know who the two of them are. Uh, if I give you a bunch of contests, can you tell me who would win them? Oh, no. And it did. So I've got a bunch of challenges here that I asked Bing GPT. Who would win between Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young? All right. It told me who would win and why. Uh, so I'm going to give you a contest. You guys are going to tell me which of the two of you won oh. in chat, uh, Bing chat GPTs. Okay, the I, whole thing. I don't yes. know that I've ever been less comfortable with the game. I'm ready. I'm sure you have. I'm sure you have. Well, I'm standing for this one. I was laying down just minutes ago. But you didn't want to, and then you did. How did you feel when you were laying down? Comfortable. Me too. Yeah. Do you want to? No. I, I it's mean, already been done. I'm just. It's been done. But what if it's blase. been done? Uh, a little, a little gauche. I mean, okay. what go, are we gonna go, do? Go ahead, Bryce. Second, second go, bowl go, of cereal. Go, no, go ahead, Bryce. 
I swear I'm not Brian's about to slowly do slowly <laughs> slumping. <laughs> He's bit. slowly go, melting. Go ahead, Bryce. Go ahead, Bryce. What okay, do you got? so I got your first challenge here. <laughs> The contest is a slowly slumping contest. I know. He looks like fucking Colin Kaepernick in slow motion. <laughs> and you, and you, don't tell him that because he will wear an afro. He will oh, wear an afro. Oh, yeah, that's true. What's well, what's that question, Bryce? Okay. Uh, so your first contest here between Brian and Justin. Who would win in a pie-eating contest? We'll start with Justin. Oh. Ah. Justin, who's going to win in the pie eating contest between you and Bri? I think I will. I think it it, it it will think that I'm a more ravenous man. I love pie, and I'm going to shove all of them in my mouth like it's a cartoon. Uh, I disagree. I think Brian would win. Yeah? On Why? Of his well-known talents for eating light bulbs. Oh, you are you are more famous for eating things. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not really famous for eating anything. Mm-hmm. Pussy. <laughs> Adding a third thread here. I see. Okay. <laughs> uh, Justin says pussy. Brian says light bulbs. <laughs> Let's find out who's right <laughs> according to Bryce. Chat GPT said, I think Brian would win this one. Hey! Oh, but why? But why? He seems to have a bigger appetite and a more adventurous palate than Justin. Light bulbs. He also has experience with eating fire, so he may be able to fire. handle spicy pies. Yeah. Better. Yeah. Classic spicy pies. Yep. All right. Good. All right. There you go. So that's, that's a fine. AI. I'll take the L on that one. Yep. That's right. That's a point for Brian. Brian is now one. moving his stance. He's he's not laid back still, down, but he is standing on my feet. He's in he's in the standing the, strong the stay, slob stay squat. I'm uh, live strong. He's playing the worst version of red light green light. Uh, yeah, they came up with for his it's video. like it's like he's playing a very high stakes version of Twister by himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your next question here, Brian. We're going to start with you on this. Ready? One. Uh, the contest: a one thousand meter dash. Who's going to take it? Well, uh, I believe objectively and on the record, Justin left my ass in the dust doing a beer mile. Yeah. So I'm going to say Justin is perceived as the winner. Let me just lean over a little bit. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Uh, Brian fell oh. right on his duff. No, that's fine. I just fell down. Go ahead. I'll get up. Um, oh. <laughs> I believe Brian would win in a 100-meter dash, what? mostly because I'm now banking that the AI just knows more about Brian <laughs> than it does about me. Oh my god, dude. I would hate that if all that would be really funny if that's how this game unfolded. That's exactly <laughs> what Bryce would say if he knew that all of them I'm gonna stand up now. We were looking for Justin to the oh! one. That's a point for Brian. Uh, Jet, uh, Bing says, I think Justin would win this one. He looks more fit and athletic than Brian. And he has a background in improv comedy, so he might be able to improvise some shortcuts or distractions along the way. You're gonna fucking wacky racers them. What is what you, you don't need to be doing that. You don't need to be doing that, Brian. It's a visual bit. Yeah, uh, we noticed. Yeah. Uh just saying. I'm not even gonna tell the audience what's happening. No. You know what? We should put this behind the Patreon wall. We should But what? But what? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing is happening right now. I don't. Nothing that should encourage everyone to go to <laughs> patreon.com slash a great night. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> Just say it. I think we're all agreed here. Yeah. Bryce, right. next question. Our next question here. We're going to start with Justin on this one. Oh. Who would win in a contest of freestyle poetry? Uh, well, as we've heard throughout the show, Brian's, uh, uh, Brian's natural talent for coming up with lyrics that he's freestyle singing <laughs> is pretty unparalleled. So I, I would say that Brian would win in freestyle poetry. Well, I, I, we could trust a robot on this, or we could find out right now live on stage. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. You start with what? Freestyle poetry. You give me that, and then I'll and I'll pick it up, and we'll see if I can do any better. 
I say it's one for the Buddha and two for the cess. Three is for the blow and don't forget the Buddha. Bless, bless, bless y'all and you don't stop. A yes, yes y'all and you don't stop. A keep on till the break of dawn. A keep on till the early morn. A technique Gemini amplifiers too. Don't you know Brian B is coming on you. What's up? That's right. I'm freestyle rapping. Ain't gonna stop no matter how much clapping. I'm gonna keep on freestyle rapping. Fuck you, Justin. Take it, asshole. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. That's a little bit of science. We did a little bit of investigative science. Turns out on. you're better. I mean, also, I just... You know what? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> no one's happier. No, yeah, no, no one, one's happier. No one's happier. All right. So, All right. Uh, Brian, we're we're here with you. Uh, do you think you would win the freestyle poetry? Contest oh no, <laughs> no, Justin would win. Why do you think Justin would win? Because he's a better freestyle rapper. I think we just proved otherwise. Well, I don't know. We we, we haven't heard both sides. I think we should hear both sides on the issue. Uh, no, I I couldn't. I froze. Oh, I have I have a lot of stage fright. <laughs> Brian, I'm just I'm just so scared. <laughs> just I'm gonna just say. So scared. Okay, but. If we were to run a simulation, uh, 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 I got nothing. Yeah, God sorry. <laughs> I thought just saying uh would make me have something, but I didn't have anything. Yeah. Turns out. All right, so we asked you about freestyle poetry chat GPT. Ben! The winner would be Justin. That's another That's Brian trust point. Him. That's why you can't trust AI. Uh, I think Justin would. This is what Bing said. I think they Justin, should have apologized for that shit in Congress today, Sam. He is a writer and a podcaster, so he has a way with words and a knack for rhyming. Mm -mm. He oh. also has a rap alter ego named Jerbs, who might give him the edge in this contest. <laughs> I actually, I think both of us I guess I, did, I, I guess I did once have a rap song on the radio. <laughs> yeah. There is that. I guess you, I, you I, I, guess I do have. had a hit played I guess I, after the Penguins. Yeah, the I guess I had a parody rap song. Played on the radio once. So. There we go. Brett, what's the score? Brian. <laughs> Justin. Yes. Brian has a score of three. Mm. Justin has a score of nada. Nothing. Jack shit. You want to know what? Not a, not out a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. Mm -hmm. Or a ceiling to bang it off of. <laughs> Don't. Or a floor to lick it from. What? Or a or a wind or a, or a, or a side nook to hide it for the winter, <laughs> or a, or a attic to feed it to the mice. Are you an Abu Ghraib? <laughs> <laughs> you have no walls. You have no windows. You have no ceiling. You have no floor. You might be in purgatory, my friend. You might be in Abu Ghraib. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got some more here. Uh, let's see. Boo, 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 boo. Let's do. Ah, here we go. Who would win between Brian and Justin in a drag race? In a drag race. We're going to start with... What kind? Are we racing for pinks or are we serving cunt? <laughs> You're racing for pinks in this one. I'm sorry. I'm going to need you to unpack that. Are you not familiar with the phrase serving cunt? Bryce, what is the answer to look this? Up, no, Bryce, we'll, look, look, up, up, look up the Urban Dictionary of Serving Cunt. Okay, but let's come back to this. <laughs> let's, let's come back to this in a, in a moment. Uh, wow, Urban Dictionary. In fact, one of the first ones to pop up, turns out. Uh, similar to serving realness. Serving cunt takes serving realness to the next level. It's pussy power. Bold. To the point. Any, Any gender is read, read, read the Read the using it in a sentence, which is always the best part of Urban Dictionary. OMG, Chloe, you're serving cunt tonight. Anyway, it's not that one. It's the, the car one. Yeah. The car one. The car one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, Turns I, out it's the other one, Brian. It's the other I, one. I, it's the other one. I, it's not the first one. I, I, you know? I, Sashay, Shantae, no way. No way. <laughs> we're, talking, we're talking fast and the furious. Quarter mile at a time. Yep. Live my life. Hit the NAS. I, I, I believe New that movie out this uh this Friday. It's about Jason family. Momoa is the bad guy. Yeah. First of a trilogy. Mm-hmm. Uh breaking The Rock's news. back in the uh in, in, in the uh, post credit scene. Uh oh, spoiler. Spoiler. I believe yeah. that an AI would believe 
Yeah. That I would be better, but that's not true. I believe in my heart you would be better, but I believe the AI thinks that I would be better. I believe Brian would be better. Oh. Because he's known for a, a vehicle. Like, Brian is known for, for the Jeep, and so I'm, I'm not known for any kind of vehicle. I mean, you and I both equally I, promoted the all-new RAV4 hybrid. We both did. Although I was looking for that because my friend just moved right next to the Cathedral of Drunk, and I couldn't find the Cathedral of Drunk episode. That's some crazy trash. <sighs> Isn't it? Bryce. Ah, yes. Okay. Sorry, I <laughs> fell asleep there just a little bit. All right. In the contest of drag racing. Bryce is too busy looking up an urban dictionary. <laughs> I was serving cunt. The winner was Brian on this one. Hey! That's a point for everybody. Uh, Bing says, I think Brian would win this one as well. He's a fan of cars and motorcycles, and he owns a Tesla Model 3. <laughs> he also has a YouTube show called Modern Rogue. Is ChatGPT like a, like a, a wizard that grants wishes now? That would be amazing. He also has a YouTube show called The Modern Rogue, where he learns various skills, such as driving fast and drifting, which you did do twice. Yep. Yeah. You did that twice. Yeah. yeah. There we go. That's a point for everybody. And look behind you for your Model 3! Oh, just kidding. Sorry. There we go. That was a real SC moment for me. <laughs> SC? Yeah. Right. Sports Sport. Center. Oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> ba -na -na, ba -na -na. All right, our next contest. Head to head with Justin and Brian. In the contest, a drag lip sync battle. Hey! Beginning to detect a trend here, Bryce. Uh, uh, we're going to start with uh, Justin on this one. Who's, who's legitimately doing? this one would be close if if this were in to real happen, life or, or in real life? In real life, I feel like it would be very very close because you you've got a routine to Mister Roboto that I can't touch. So I would have to hope that I could summon a routine that you I've watched you just crush. Like the various different sizes of rooms, but when you're doing a karaoke as they're doing Mr. Roboto, and you wouldn't even have to sing, you could just lip sync. Oh, lip sync, yeah. Like, like you would, you would absolutely destroy. There's nothing that I do that would be as good as that. So my 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 gut is to say that you would win that. My inventory is smaller though than yours of of popular songs that would land with the audience because even mr roboto is a what a 40 year old reference at this point so classics uh, though classics uh, never uh, die uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with justin on this one oh, okay you're gonna, why why do you think justin over you because uh, just because of the quite simply because whatever song he would pick would be better known by the audience. more popular yeah what song are you doing justin is it a rihanna is it a drake are you a, yeah no you... i'd probably pick a gayer song because for whatever uh, you could say about Mr. Roboto, not a particularly gay song, and and usually drag lip sync battles, pretty gay. These songs are pretty fucking gay, man. Yeah. <laughs> like they're that that's kind of like a central thread. And I I for assume them. I assume like um, no no one no one has won Drag Race lip syncing to the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. Like they're usually fucking toe tappers, right? Also, like, like these are these are disco songs. Literally, not even Sticks will perform Mr. Obato live anymore because of how uh, Japan phobic it is. Yeah, although I feel like. Like a drag queen could get away with it. Yeah? Yeah. What What's the underlying theme that they're tapping into? Well, back before they became the latest battle line of fucking, like, state <laughs> legislatures, uh, uh, like, drag queens always, like, uh, any kind of drag show that I saw, to me, was always very, very funny because they were, like, the last people in an uh, uh, ever more careful culture that could make, like, the Subversive. jokes that, that Don Rickles would make. Right. Like a drag queen would walk into an audience and be like, look at the Asian guy. Like, and that is, so it's like, there, there's an element of fuck it. We're going there that existed in drag comedy. I don't know if it still does, but, uh, uh, yeah. So that's why I think that they'd be able to do it. I, I don't know what, what, what would I do? I, I would do, uh, 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 Avril Lavigne. I oh. would do skater boy. Uh, I, would skater do, boy. I would do skater, skater boy. boy. I, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know if everybody listening has heard your, your awesome hot take on Skater Boy. Oh, that it's like one of the greatest songs ever written. It's what are they, have you guys heard this before already? Uh, Skater Boy is a scathing diss track. It's incredible. Well, well yeah. Yeah. He wasn't like, good enough for her. But but the key thing that makes it a very, very, an extraordinarily well-written song is that you believe that the narrator is omniscient 
until you realize that the narrator is in the audience first person no narrator is first person you don't realize until a third or two thirds of the way through the song as she's singing a song about this sad girl that you think is the protagonist that that this dude and then he winds up getting famous and then you're like oh we should be feeling for the girl who has kids now no third you act. shouldn't be because the narrator is the current girlfriend of the skater boy so Fuck you. Fuck your kids. Fuck all your life decisions. You deserve all the misery that you've gotten because you didn't like your middle school boyfriend. Like, like that is, it is one of the most unhinged, fucked up songs ever written, and I love it. Yeah, that third act boils down to, anyway, we're live at a concert. The skater boy is very popular, and I'm fucking him. Fuck you, old exactly. girlfriend. And we wrote this song about you. Yes. Eat shit. Awesome. Got him. There you go. So who would be better in a rap <laughs> drag lip sync battle? That's right. We asked chat GPT. And it said it was Justin Robert. Yeah, yeah buddy. Got him. In what, uh, would, what would your drag name be? Oh, MC Bibblebrox. <laughs> Doesn't seem like much of a play on words. Yeah, it's not very punny. Well, the secret because is... Because they're usually puns, right? It's like... Yeah, the, the pun is that I have two heads, like uh, Zephod Bibelbrox. <laughs> Feels like you could you're... do better. <laughs> okay. Feels like you're not <laughs> trying. This is a new form of improv. <laughs> Instead of yes and, it's no, you disappoint better. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is the... <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the school of improv of Del Close was an Asian dad. <laughs> All right. uh, uh, what would your name be? not funny. What would your name be? <laughs> Famously welcoming and understanding Asian dads. <laughs> what, what would your name be? Uh, 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 <laughs> know that whatever Tina! you say, I'm going to say do better. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Just uh, know that's hanging over you. Hil like ah, ah, Hillary Cunton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's it's good. Actually, pretty good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I withdraw my question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we asked the computer who would win in the li the lip sync battle, and it said Justin would win. That's another Shh. Brian point. Shh. Wow, Shh. really good Shh. at predicting what an AI would say about us. Oh yeah, MC Beetlebrox. <laughs> I have two heads. Yeah. Uh, okay, here's another one for you. <laughs> Between Brian and Justin, who would win in Seinfeld's The Game? You guys remember that? Oh, yeah. Who can stop jacking off the longest? <laughs> Straight jacking it. Justin. You think so? How much do you think I'd jack off? Because I'm telling you, it's a busy time. <laughs> you don't get these fucking good... <laughs> <laughs> I just think I got two stripes. <laughs> <laughs> I jerked both they off. Uh, 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 Brian, we'll start with you. Who's going to win Justin, the game? Justin. Justin. I'd win. I would win No Nut November. Yep. Have you ever tried No Nut November? Man, I tried No Nut 2018. <laughs> <laughs> and how did it go? <laughs> I made it one day. Yeah. <laughs> It was a real disappointing New Year's Day. <laughs> but but a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot. Hey, you want to know? We have fun it here. We have fun here. We have fun here. Uh, no, I'm going to say uh, uh, Brian. I'm going to say they think that you're disciplined. You've learned a lot of skills. Mm. I'm sure that there's a Modern Rogue episode where somebody fucking taught you guys how to not touch your dicks <laughs> okay boys gather yeah. around first of all <laughs> i'm picturing broden oh, gather around first of all you don't put your hand on your dick he's like oh you put your hand on your dick take your hand off your dick <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to saying you know not everything all right anyway imagine that it, yeah no it's, it's just the get in the kiln sketch but with you and <laughs> jason with putting hands your on hands on your dicks, on your dicks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah all right we got your answers here who would win in seinfeld's the game the computer said it would be Justin. Yeah. Uh, the computer also says, uh, babe, babe, where is it? 
I think Justin would win this one. He is a comedian and a podcaster, so he has a good sense of humor and timing. He also has he also has a podcast called Politics, 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 <laughs> where he talks about current events and news that might trigger the game. I think this is thinking about I the I don't believe the it game. knows what the game is. I don't know. And I, I wrote think... it as the game as made famous by the TV show Seinfeld. So. I mean, yeah. I, I would imagine maybe it knows exactly how sexy politics is. And... Because uh, uh, if you were to look up compulsive masturbator, yeah. synonyms in the dictionary would be podcaster and comedian. <laughs> <laughs> what about magician and politics? At least three of the four. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. It's time for our very final round. Magicians do it, but they also flourish. <laughs> yeah, but they do it with the blue deck. <laughs> Going into our final round. When they what? come, it just keeps coming out. <laughs> this, is a very, this is a very funny visual bit. <laughs> Where's it all coming from? Oh, apparently it was the contest in Seinfeld. Not <laughs> it wasn't even the right. So prompt. you fucked it up. Uh, oops, sorry about that. Well, Easy. You, you, really, you really engraved your face on that. <laughs> Like a common man. <laughs> After six rounds, Brett, what is our score going into the the final round? We have Brian with six points. Oh. Got him. We have Justin with two points. There we go. Thank you, Brett. All right, it's time for our final round. This is worth ten points. Oh! So it's still anybody's game. And uh, Brian, because you're in the lead, you're gonna have to go first for us. Okie dokie. I gave you. Uh, to, to I gave you to Bing and it decided who would win in the in the contest of bird watching. Mm. Ryan, who wins at bird watching? Is it you or Justin? Just full stop. Who's better at watching birds? Yeah, bird watching is a sport. Excuse you. Yeah, you have to find birds and identify them, and you have to be able to use a bingo card. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, I will point out that one of us is on the record for a, almost ten years of literally having a bird for a tax-deductible mascot yes. on one of their RSS feeds. Yes. The other one of us is Brian Brushwood. Yeah. So I'm going to say <laughs> Justin. I think, yeah, that one, if there's any record of me with in any kind of bird-related thing, then, then that would definitely be a me thing. We currently have a smart bird feeder that takes pictures of birds that are eating at our bird feeder. I know this because you've shown me pictures along with witticisms like, look how fat this bird is. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is true, man. These fucking blorbs are out of here. You're the <laughs> one blorbs. feeding them. Just chonking. You're feeding <laughs> them. Chonking. And I hope to feed them till the day they die because I love them. <laughs> well, you're gonna they just fly up, these big fat doves, apple bottoms. Holy shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers got trailers on them. They just fucking fly in. <laughs> <laughs> and then they fucking barely fly away. These little wings can't even get them to fucking move. I right. love it. Tri I love it. Real? No, nope. what I don't like? Real. These fucking Real. squirrels. These goddamn squirrels. <laughs> they come up from my goddamn bird feeder, and I just see this one squirrel's asshole fucking daily. <laughs> he just spreads his fucking cheeks. He just goatsies his squirrel asshole right in my fucking lens, and I have to deal with it. Right. I'm at, it's a fucking alert brian and they and they make a big deal they're like a bird came to your bird feeder i'm like oh is it a cardinal a finch or a dove bing asshole right in my face mammal ass uh true 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 fact uh yes or no have you ever laughed out loud by yourself looking at what's on the bird feeder app a hundred percent yeah oh my god no especially there's some doves they they literally just look like they look like fucking bowling ball pins. So it's like it's just a gigantic bottom and then this like tiny little head because like the way that the, the fisheye lens is on on the lens and it was just like <laughs> You can't write it better, baby. You can't write it. Are you sure about that one? No, fucker. <laughs> 
you feel? <laughs> All right, Justin, we're back to you. Why. It's very funny to me to be mean to Bryce. I'm sorry. All right, so Brian said that Justin would be better at bird watching. Justin, uh, who Justin, you th- Justin would be better at bird watching. You're gonna just uh, defeat the whole just thing of the give whole. Up the oh, game. Oh, 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 sorry. Uh, uh, that being said, <laughs> <laughs> I believe that Brian secretly <laughs> loves birds in the eyes of the AI. When the AI of a ranger is upon you, <laughs> you will learn that Brian loves birds. Brian will be the winner. There we go. All right, we've got your answers here. It's our final round. It's for 10 million points. Being GPT said that the better bird watcher would be a time. Oh, Nobody yeah. saw that coming. The one thing that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, listen to this. I think this one would be a tie. They are both fans and friends of Tom Merritt, who is an avid bird watcher and host of the Daily Tech News Show podcast. They might have learned some bird watching tips and tricks from him. That's a tie, everybody. Tom wins. Go, Tom. Is, Tom, out of nowhere. Is Tom an avid bird watcher? Can't. I don't. I've never heard Tom talk about I've birds. never in my life. I, w- I would bet, like, if we wanted to make a side bet, I bet that he would call himself an avid bird watcher. You gonna call him? Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna do one. Tom, Tom Merritt. Everybody the of uh, Daily Tech News Show and yep. Good Day Internet here uh, on the uh, Tom Merritt. Internet Hall of Famer, uh, first ballot legend. Yeah. President of the Internet. President of the Internet. Tom Merritt. Pipe smoker of the year. No, it's dinner time over there, so he should. It be, is. Should be pretty busy. Hey man, what's up? Hey Tom, you're live on the air for Great Night. Uh, you're about to settle an entire hour and a half long game. Uh, would you classify yourself as, and I quote, an avid bird watcher? Yes or no? No. Fuck. Uh, oh. Well, it turns out AI's wrong. Thanks, Tom. Bye, Tom. Thanks, Love Tom. you. Tom. Everybody, yes. uh, okay, all right. Everybody, courtkillers.com. Check out more Tom uh, Merritt. And that's damn. Tom for winning the game. We should have told him he won the game. Yay! Yay. That's all there is to it. Brett. Uh, oh, sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah. Do your bit. Do your bit. Uh, if you have an idea for a game or an email, comment, question, any sort of thing like that, please send it to our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this fine program. Thank you to everyone in the chat who came up with some of these contests. I've got a bunch more. Maybe we'll do them in the after show. Hey. Brett, yep. what did we learn tonight? Well, Brian, we've learned that the common everyday working man <laughs> not only oh deserves God. a living wage, access to health care, and dignity, but also earbuds with those gel tips, you know, like everyone else should have. We, uh... Brave. Brave. Very brave. Kind of trying to force it, trying to Uh, make it a thing. I don't know. We've also learned that uh, the uh, uh, poop TikTok stories are totally relatable. Totally relatable. Uh, Uh, We've also learned that the Brushwoods are music creation machines. Mm. Fantastic. And uh, I will always watch for and identify the comedy off ramp. Always. I will always do that. That's what I learned. Yeah. I, 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 learned I think tonight. both of us have a tendency to ignore that. That's, yeah. yeah. It's kind of a bit. Yeah. Uh, Justin, I don't know about you. But Moving I'm, on. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? Let's see that right there, man. It's still a great night. <laughs> Shine on you, crazy diamond. Woo woo! Can we lay down in solidarity? I got a bird. I got a bird. You have a bird? No. Yeah, okay, I'm that bird. 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 Is that a live bird? This is a new a thing I haven't seen. It'd be weird if it was a dead bird. I hope it's not a dead bird. Is it a fly up with a thing? Can I, it, can I keep saying bird? Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>